So Chelbet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chilbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed.
Stop a lamb. Come on! I hurt my shoulder. Shake it off. Ha! Don't hold back. Follow through. Uh, and... Uh, 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 uh. To your feet. Up! You keep moving. Uh, uh. <sighs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar. Are you training the boy, or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his... I find the idea of leading a Shire... Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When things get to... <laughs> I'll be on... As future Elderman, you should speak... In... Rodri will want us to get... You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king. It may be you should stay... I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to... Give us your word, then. Hey, for don't make me laugh. We... Excellent. Now, to the... It's not far. Just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. Uh, he parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealarv, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Aeneo, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dealarv. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The has... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. 
And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Jailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older than yet. <laughs> You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Ab Kadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. <laughs> Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rodri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. Lady Angharad, take this silver. Do what you can to calm your husband. I shall. The kingdom of Gwynedd thanks you. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Lady Young Harrod will use the silver to bolster the royal treasury. That will reassure and calm Rodri. Ah, a wise woman indeed. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get them to safety! Go! Quickly! 
Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to find a way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Oh, what kind? 
carnage. We must let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Jailbird killed, you boneless flap of leather! Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar, and I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. A dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well... For food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan. Out, Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river. Rodri's Britons will strike. Indeed, they will send. And you do not need me. I know your method of scouting. I am as regular. I shall go with you, if only to get. I will meet you both at one last thing. We'll need a field before our battle.